What's going on guys? I am doing the September Lucky Tackle Box unboxing. Actually, this is the Bass XL box. That's why it is black. If you guys happen to get a blue box, that means you just got the regular Bass box. The XL just has a few more extra baits. Um, you pay a little bit more money. As you can see, this thing's already torn open. The mailman decided it was a good idea to stick this in the mailbox in which it doesn't fit. And so I basically had to tear this thing apart in order to get out of the mailbox, but the box is still somewhat intact. So like I said, this is for the month of September, and uh, this is the Bass XL box. If you guys want a Lucky Tackle Box, I've got a new promo code for you. It's called Free Flare. Look at in the description if you want any more details about it. But basically, you'll get one extra fishing lure added to your box if you're a first-time user. So if you've never gotten a Lucky Tackle Box before, you use promo code Free Flare, and they'll give you one extra bait in your box. And it's not going to be some junk bait. It's going to be a premium lure. Premium lures usually run between like eight and fifteen or so dollars. Also, you'll automatically be entered into winning a fishing trip with me and Lunkers TV. Uh, going to the Lucky Tackle Box house, hanging out for a weekend. Basically, a fun experience for whoever wins it. Just a fun fishing trip with me, Lunkers TV. We're not sure on the destination yet. We talked about the Florida Keys, so we're not really sure. But if you use that promo code, you'll get a free bait and entered into win the free fishing trip with me and Lunkers TV. All right, let's get into the box. Okay, so the first thing I see here is this little magazine. Now, this, for those of you guys who have watched my unboxings before, this is what I've said before is my favorite part of the box uh, because there's a lot of useful information in here that teaches you guys how to fish and how to catch fish. So in this, this may be new, maybe I'm just not very observant, but they tell you what's in the Bass XL box, what's in the regular Bass box, as well as what's in the inshore and the trout box. And basically, every Lucky Tackle box, they'll, they'll tell you what came in this month's box, which I don't know if that's new or if I just don't remember that being there, but that's pretty cool because then if you're interested in like getting the trout box or like the ice fishing box or panfish box whatever you guys want it'll tell you what's in here as well as there's like a bunch of discount codes tackle warehouse gift cards that type of stuff a lot of good information in here i swear my neighborhood is the quietest neighborhood until i actually turn on the camera and try to film something all right let's see what's in the box lucky tackle box sticker i think that's a new sticker if i remember right we got one bait two three four five Six, seven. As you can see, the box is empty. So we've got seven baits here to go over. Um, pack of hooks, couple hard baits, couple soft plastics. I'm not gonna put the prices of these. I'll put the prices down in the description, as well as I'm gonna do something new. For each one of these lures, I'm gonna put what rod, reel, line I would use to throw these baits. I don't know if that's gonna help you guys. Maybe it's not gonna help you. Maybe it's just a waste of 30 minutes of typing in the description, but I'm gonna try. So if you wanna know what, what like the rod, reel, line setups I'd use for each one of these baits, as well as the price for each lure, go check down in the description. All right, so we'll start off with this dude right here. This is definitely my favorite one out of the box. Hands down, this is a Yozuri popper. You can see there a nice pat looks like a bass patterned uh, little popper there. Nice feathered tail. That's always crucial when anytime you're fishing any topwaters, you always want to have the little feathers on the tail. For some reason, it just I don't know. It just catches more fish. You can ask the fish why they like it, but I just know they like it. Some solid rattles in here. Definitely something that's really good for fall fishing. If you guys saw my top five fall fishing baits. The popper, like a walking bait, any type of topwater like that was in it. Um, so, you know, I will be throwing that within the next month or so until the ice comes. That is bait number one. Bait number two is a Dynamics Lures HD XXL. 3 for 1 for 159 Yep, something like that. Silver and black. It's basically a jerk bait. Sorry if that lighting is kind of kind of garbage. The sun just decided to pop out randomly. This thing is, this is something I've never seen before, and I'll explain to you why. So you would think that's just a normal jerk bait, but if you look at the top, they got that little deal right there. As well as in the package comes with these, these rattles. It looks like what you do is you open that little flap right there, you can pour these rattles in there and give it more sound and more weight. So I'm guessing this thing is probably floating out of the package. So if you add a couple weights to it, it may suspend. You add all the weights to it, it's probably gonna sink. So you basically have three jerk baits in one. That's something I've never seen before. That's really cool because normally in my jerk bait box, on the left side I'll have floating, in the middle I'll have suspending, and in the and on the right side I'll have uh, sinking jerk baits. Which this, if you just had like a dozen of these dudes in different color patterns, that's all you'd ever need. Pretty slick bait. Uh, it's by Dynamic Lures. Okay, all right. All right, this one's sweet too. This there's so many unique baits in this box. This one here is a zero gravity jig, and this is something I've seen before. Uh, but it, it's extremely unique, and some of you guys probably have never seen anything like this. Now, to the naked eye, if you're not here actually holding this, you probably just think it's just a normal-looking shad imitation swim jig. But the reality is, this thing literally weighs nothing. I don't know, there's not really a way for me to describe 
how it feels other than like this is made out of like wood or it's just hollow. It's called the zero gravity jig because that reason. It's, it's just, there's no weight to it. This thing is just super light. It says it, it sinks one foot every three seconds. That is extremely slow, like extremely slow. Why would you want something like that? You would want this because this imitates a shad. Well, this dude right here, this thing, if it falls at a rate of one foot every three seconds, that is imitating a dying bait fish. And the way this head is designed, if you jerk it, it's probably gonna go kind of erratic up and down and fish it extremely shallow water. It's not like a flipping and pitching jig. It's not, it's not made for that. This is made for more of like a, a swim jig type deal. So this is a bait you could really use in the fall when those, when those bass are super duper shallow, chasing those shad. You throw this dude up there, you move it a couple times, it has a nice slow fall rate, it looks like a wounded shad, and you catch a lot of big fish. While I am on the topic of shad, check that dude out right there. That is a lunker hunt. It's a common shiner, it's the hatch tail spin. This is a lure I don't really have any experience using, to be completely honest with you. I've thrown it a couple times, haven't really caught a lot of fish on it. It's just something that I just haven't given enough time. But that right there is exactly what you wanna throw in your imitating shad. This thing is heavy. Unlike the zero gravity jig, this thing is like actually really heavy. It, it weighs one ounce. This this little dude right there, that tiny little, little jig weighs one ounce. Where you'd want to throw this is in the schools of shad. So if you're out on the boat and you're graphing and you see the big ball of bait fish and you might see some, some bass laying below it, you want to toss this dude in there because it's going to fall straight down and that blade's going to twirl and it's going to imitate a dying shad. And you're going to rip it up and it goes back down, rip it up, goes back down. You really just trigger strikes. It's, it's more of a reaction style bait. Um, it's not really something you want to throw shallow. So if you're a pond fisherman, you don't want to throw this bad boy. There's no way unless your pond is like 25 feet deep and clear with no weeds. But again, we got another super awesome bait for fall. Anytime you're uh, imitating shad, that's exactly what you wanna be doing, which is what that dude there does with that little blade that spins there. I'm not gonna promise that I'm gonna throw this and catch a lot of fish just cause the area that I live in, but if you do live in an area where there's just balls of bait, balls of shad, toss that little dude in there and you're gonna get crushed. Careful throwing this one. Three, three more products here. So here, it looks like we've got a stick bait. This one is made by Biwa. It is a prism high density stick bait, 4.8 inches long. So it is similar to like a Senko style, um, but it is it is shaped, what they call this thing, prism. It's basically got a lot of flat sides. Um, I would have to take this thing out in the water to see what those flat sides are gonna do. I imagine what it's gonna do is gonna make it shimmy a little bit more, like on the way down it's gonna kinda wobble. Uh, just because the water's gonna hit the flat edges and want to go down the sides and it's gonna kind of make the whole thing wiggle a little bit But I can't promise that so I could be completely wrong I have no idea what I do know though is that it is unique It is something different and anytime you're doing that, you know Everybody and their brother throws a, a stick bait like this That's not that's completely rounded like a like a Senko everybody throws that so if you're fishing a pressured body of water Picking up something like this that imitates the same thing if the bass are feeding on that But it just looks a little bit different. I feel like that's the time when you're really gonna get more strikes. Just a nice little stick bait. I, I can promise you I can catch fish on this guy right here. That is bait number five. Bait number six are these dudes right here. These are Lake Lunkers custom baits. It looks like we got a topwater frog in a very unique color. Now I can promise you, any lake you go to, the bass have probably not seen anything that looks quite like that. That is like a hot pink topwater, like a ribbit, um, frog imitation bait right there, which which you might be thinking, you know, that's crazy. No frog is hot pink. I'm not going to catch any fish on that, but you're wrong. You are 100% incorrect. I can't tell you how many fish I've caught on a bubblegum Sanko or bubblegum trick worm. Bass do not care what the color is. I mean, obviously you want to match the hatch anytime that you can, but a lot of times they're throwing something off the wall like this. It's just going to get a reaction strike. They're not eating because they think that looks exactly like the frogs that they've been eating. They eat it because it's just an opportunity. Bass are opportunists. So I would be, I would not be surprised if I actually could catch fish on this. Uh, so don't get discouraged if you get some like wacko colors. I'm guessing not everybody got this color. Um, they probably they usually Lucky Tackle Box throws in like a variety. But if you did get this pink one, don't, don't, don't freak out because it's it's okay. You can catch fish on it. I promise. That's bait number six. Last but not least, we've got some hooks. These right here are Mustad Big Mouth Special Pack hooks. Uh, they're basically four out hooks. They look a little something like that. You can use these for anything. You can honestly rig that frog up that I just showed. You can rig that Senko up or the uh, the Biwa stick bait that I talked about. Uh, those hooks basically will work for anything, any of those soft plastics that just came in there. Mustads do make super good hooks. They're nice and sharp. They don't do a lot very easy. Good stuff. I'm not gonna throw these hooks though. That's just that's just dangerous. So that's basically it for the unboxing. I said if you guys want to know the prices, check down below. If you want to know the rods and reels that I would use to use the lures that I showed, check down below. If you want to go follow me on all the social media websites that are out there, including Tinder, check down below. That's all I've got. I don't want to take up any more of your time. 
I'm sorry this was not like a fishing video, but I just like showing you guys what comes in the Lucky Tackle Boxes because Lucky Tackle Box helps me catch fish. It, it really expands my arsenal as far as lures go. I got a lot of stuff in this box today that I've never seen in my entire life, and I'm excited to go catch fish on them. Remember, use promo code FREEFLARE if you want a free extra lure in your box and a chance to fish with me and Rob. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching.